The Nature Trust of British Columbia is a non-profit land conservation organization headquartered in British Columbia. Since 1971, the Nature Trust and its partners have invested more than $56 million to secure over 150,000 acres of land that is ecologically significant to the province. Their mandate is to protect BC's natural diversity of wildlife and plants. And one of the pieces of property that the Nature Trust of British Columbia and its partners own and manage is right here. It's an outstanding piece of real estate, 10,000 acres, and it has everything. It has hoodoos, grasslands, Columbia River wetlands, and beautiful tracts of aspen. It's called the Hoodoo property. The Hoodoo's property is a, a really unique property. It was a parcel that was large in size, one of the last sort of remaining very large parcels, uh, 4,000 hectares. And what's interesting with this property is its uh, proximity to a number of other conservation properties, which gives us an opportunity to manage more at a landscape level of those key ecosystems that we want to ensure are conserved over time. The Hoodoo's property um, is a fire-maintained ecosystem, or was a fire-maintained ecosystem, and we now have a, a lot of ingrowth of young Douglas firs. So in certain areas, we are looking to sort of take that out to emulate more what the conditions would have been if natural fires had been coming through the property on a more regular basis. Every 15 to 25 years it burnt uh, prior to 1940, and then they stopped fires from happening. Put them out. Uh, put them out. Smokey, Smokey, the, bear. Smokey the bear. Yeah. He needs a kick in the butt, Smokey the bear. It's the best advertising campaign ever. Yeah. So given that, if we're going to look, manage these lands in a way that uh, Mother Nature would do it and paint the picture that she did, then we have to harvest. Natural spacing here would be 35 to 75 feet. And as you can see, it's really enclosed. So we're, we have to do some harvesting here. Last year, we harvested 25,000 cubic meters approximately off the south property. And that would keep the Canal Flats Mill running of 165 employees for a month and the Elko Mill running for a month, one shift. It's a, a question of not only enhancing the land, but multiplying the resources on it for all uses. And we can do that very well. What do you think of all this, po this population down here? On encroaching it's on inevitable uh, that we're going to have uh, people come to this corner of the province. It's a beautiful part of Canada and British Columbia in particular, or the world. It has significance, though, international, national, international significance in terms of wildlife populations. So that's very important for the tourist business as well. And so if we look after the critters, then we look after the whole thing, and that means we have to look after the land. It's all for all of us forever. We're not excluding people. No trespassing signs go down, and we allow people to use these properties as well. So it's, you but take it's not the no trespassing signs down? Down, yes, they go down. This was all no trespassing when we purchased it, this 10,222 acres. So now we're able to use it again. It's very, very important for the recreational honky-tonk that's here as well, in terms of uh, them and their clients being able to use this land freely as long as they don't abuse it. Use it, don't abuse it. It's for my grandchildren. It's for, for the future. It's for all of us forever.